Hi guys, welcome back. It's Candace. How y'all doing? See, thought I'd say it first. Okay, I'm back. I have some other Etsy shares. I had to go get a few more of the Happy Graphics Cutie Pie Halloween ones to do a couple of kid journals for my grandkids for, for Halloween. So I can put a gift card in there. So this is, I think, six kits together. So I'm just going to flip and then you can see what they are. Okay, this one is um, Alphabet, hello, Alphabet Halloween is what it called, what her name is when you go to print it. I mean, my gosh, look at that little fox and her little hat and her little friends over there. So, and you can actually use this winterish too. It could be either or, but I'm using it for Halloween. I know it has snowflakes, but hey, sometimes you're lucky that it's cool. And I did print these on 20 pound paper. This is the 32 pound paper because that's why I put in my notebook. And then this is the 20 pound because I thought I would need it to cover in my planner. But now the more I'm thinking about it, you're probably going to see, oh hello, let me grab this. You're probably going to see the lines through it. So I'm probably going to have to go reprint it. No, no, no. I'm okay. I'm alright. Let's see. Let's get some blue or some purple. Well, I might be okay. So, oops, that's the next one. That's a little hint. I did it a little differently than the other one. Like I promised, Nancy, I'm going to have little cheat sheets for you. Since I know you're waiting on yours to come in from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so anyway, this is the Alphabet Halloween. And it has little purplish snowflakes with little white dots. Like I said, you could use these in winter or whenever. They're just cute. And then this is like some little stars. But I think this, well, I was like, this would be cute on coffee dye. But I'm, I'm doing, I'm thinking kids. So... We're going to think bright and happy. <laughs> and then, well, heck, let me turn these this way so you can see the, the cute parts. Okay. And then this one is like shades of green with um, purple polka dots. And then look at this. Oh, my gosh. Is that not the cutest? Got like little, to <coughs> excuse me, little tonic bottles, some little stars, you know, and just really cute. And then this you get on the very back of, of her page. Because it comes with four, four pages. And then you get this. Well, you know, like I said, I'm going to use it for something. But I went after I did this and reprinted it and did it shrunk down to size. Because hers are, again, done this size. Because this is, this is the not fit to size. And this is the fit to size. Because hers are the um, smaller eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter but we're going to be doing them in those little um, student planners and so the maximum that we need is four and a half so we'll be able to cut it down the middle and, and get two on a page I think my husband's home the dogs are getting ready to be loud sorry y'all of course, Fergie always. And then, like I said, I went and printed this down on the regular page because I was thinking we can get, um, yep, four and a half. So we'll just have to trim it with some other paper or something or put washi down the thing. I'm not sure. But once I get to it, I will see. But I went ahead and printed it this way just to see what the heck I get. All right. And then this one, look at that little girl and her pumpkin. Oh, my gosh. So she's more on the pinky purple side. But. She was too cute. And there's there's quite a few others in there. I didn't even get them all. So, I mean, she has tons. I mean, if you're looking for little cutesy things, oh my gosh, this is, the happy graphics is definitely where to go to be happy. So this is called Halloween 7. And I just went ahead and print them all her size um, to see how it goes. And then this is pink and purple. And then this is just like candy canes that are pink and purple. And then this is just like lilac 
pink and then you know a little white background and then look at this oh my gosh she has her little friends in their um they're trick-or-treating they all have their little trick-or-treat buckets and there's candies and stuff i just thought this was so cute definitely a a happy happy that's why it's called happy <laughs> the happy graphics she definitely does that now this one okay don't know what I was thinking, but I got it. You know, it was, it was oops. I was kind of thinking you'd get one page, you know, an eight and a half by 11, but no, 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 no. It's not what I got. Each one of these are individual. So what I had to do is print them, you know, I did it print to size. I put these on 32 pound because they're going to be labels per se or pockets, more like labels. Um, I fit the page so it would be the smaller size and then I did four per page and only printed two on this page and then flipped around and then after I let my ink dry for a minute and then re reprinted these on here because I mean is that not the cutest little label for a tag oh my gosh and then look at that I'm, I'm, I'm sorry it makes me happy <laughs> this little witch and her little feet hanging out or her lime green stuff and then this little orange and green candy cane I mean, you could actually, I don't know, put, I, I don't know what we're going to do with them. I just know they were cute. And then this little goofy pumpkin. And then this little um, lollipop. And then there's some words on there. Oh. So they print out pretty big. So I was like, no, nah, I don't think so. It's too big for my journal. So then I went and did them on the wallet size which are nine per page so I put three over this one I did three here which this is a decent size I think to you know fussy cut and make a little label this boo is still kind of big because this is six of them but I don't know I I will see because I mean I don't have much room when I go to cut down there but but we'll see what happens there like I said it's this was just two per page it was just way too big and then this is what this little girl printed out on two per page at the five by seven. Um, she's just quite large for a page as far as in one of these little student pl planners. Now she would fit in a regular journal, but it's five and a quarter from one side to the other. So, I mean, that would be a cute, hmm, a cute cover, you know, for a Halloween journal. And then there's this one. Oh my gosh. This is called Halloween Day. It has got a little kind of pinky kitty sitting on a broomstick stick I mean you know it's a little witch but it's a kitty can, can y'all see I know I went back and just went crazy because they were so cute and then the, her little orange and pinks and kind of I don't even know what that would be not quite maroon but just a different a darker shade of pink stars and then it's on the black this reminds me of Dunkin Donuts <laughs> anyway and then look at this cute little polka dot black one. Yeah, it does suck some ink, but uh, that one's kind of cute. Uh-oh, my little people upside down. No, let's flip them around. And look at her and her little broom. She's on her little broom, and there's a, a hot air balloon that's a pumpkin, and the moon and stuff. And oh my gosh, that is just too cute, too cute. And see... Need to, I got some other Halloween paper over there. I'm going to have to make some little banners like that and hang them on my pages. And I can't give all my stuff away, but anyway. And then look, that's the other one, the the very last one with the thing. But, oh, that is, ooh, yeah, I'm ready to make this one. You know, Nancy's like, oh, can't you wait? My, my journals haven't come in yet. Nope. I told her she's going to have to take notes. I know that's mean. I'm sorry. But I got to make this little one. It's too cute. And then this one, oh my God, it's called um, Halloween Magic Day. They're in a stinking pumpkin, kind of like in Cinderella. And there's a ghost and a little girl, her pigtails, and a little Frankenstein kid. But oh my gosh. Too cute. And then little stars with orange and purple dots. And then these are just some more, like I said, this just, I think of Dunkin' Donuts. I don't even like Dunkin' Donuts, but this is the colors I think of. They're too dry, and they don't keep well. 
they're not you have to eat them all the same day or they're not any good the next day so anyway um enough about that and then this is just really cute i mean a lot of these papers you can use them and other things but oh my gosh look at that the little pumpkin carriage and her little lollipop at the face and this is trick-or-treat but oh yeah i know i know i'm gonna have fun making this one or these couple i don't know what i'm gonna do with them yet i still have something else i'm thinking of maybe doing with them instead of a journal journal because you know when you put, make something like that younger grandkids really don't take care of it and you hate to put all that time into it but anyway enough of that this is called harvest festival um yeah just too cute so you have some more a different shade of orange more like a dark peach with some little stars and dots and then um, this is you know more brownie mauvey color I guess with some of the darker orange stars and then who y'all got some sunglasses yeah that's a bright limeade with some dots uh oh got my little ones upside down <clears throat> and then there's these they're in like the pumpkin patch um, it's not really trick-or-treaty it's more fallish but I mean they were too cute I fell for it they got little acorns with their little smiley face and the little boy holding I don't know like maypole sticks or something with twigs on it and then she's in her pumpkin patch and it says hello and then here that's a better better picture of it I just thought he was cute, the pumpkins. But yeah, that is some bright, bright green. So, all right. Oh gosh, I didn't even set my timer. Shoot, y'all. I got so excited to show you this. All right, let's see how far along I've, I've gotten. 11, okay. All right, let's just go ahead. Let me put these with here. That's something else that I, I made. All right, so. Let's see if we have time to flip through this real quick. Oh gosh, the little girl says, yeah, hurry. Okay, I know, I have them over here, but I'm not 100% organized, organized. So these are some autumn ones. Um, it's called just called Fall, and she's got watercolor hand painted, and it's from the um, At Art Digital, but and like I said, just like the, with the other one that I did with the Halloween, um, she is eight by eight, which is eight and a quarter um, by eight and a quarter. But, you know, oh, the papers are just too pretty. I couldn't, I couldn't not. All right, let's turn this way. Lord have mercy, y'all. Excuse the dogs. So... Look how pretty these leaves are. This is her regular fit to size. This is the not fit to size. So it feels, I mean, these fill up the pages really nice. So you could use them in other journals. Look at these leaves. Oh, I love those colors. And then that's the bigger page. <clears throat> and then these leaves. Here are those. Hold on, let me let me take care of these dogs. I know it's my husband at the door, so just hold on. Okay, got them outside. My husband's taking them out. So back to the leaves. And then this is just some like yellowish, yellow, brownish watercolor markings. And that's the large size. I love this orange and brown one. <laughs> that's the large. And then this, oh, I do, ooh, I love these colors. Yep. And then that's its regular size. I mean, un, unto fit, I guess you call it. I don't know, not fit. This, I think, would be pretty if you put on coffee dye paper so you have, like, some lighter brown in the background with these stripes. <clears throat> but like I said, I wanted to print them all on the white just so you can see what they, what they look like. Oh, and then look at these these twigs with berries and stuff that would go with any kind of autumn or even winter journal too woodsy look how pretty yep oh, and then some more leaves and then this different version of 
stripedness. Now, you know, you could take your stripes, those little strips you have left over, and make your own little thing like this. That would be cute with journal cards and all that good stuff. And that's the larger version of it. These are pretty leaves. That would even go with like a lemon journal or something. That's just really pretty. Yellows and chartreuses and stuff. Oh. And then these little funky little wonky offset hexagons. And then the bigger page of it. But yep. I just thought that was that was cute. So I got to whoop something up with that one. And then for the same lady the at art digital I got this this is um, I want to make this for my my granddaughter oh, let's see if I can get it the right way now isn't that cute that might be cute I don't even know either for the center signature I don't know, not on the outside, but for the center signature, that would be really cute. But I did, you know, mess with it. <laughs> and then there's this one that says, Hello Autumn. Just sassy. That's Emily right there. Oh, sassiness with her blonde hair. I wish that girl had blonde hair, but oh well. And then look at the rain boots and the umbrella. And then I, you know, shrunk them, did them fit the size, and then shrunk them and did two per page. And so I'm going to make little pockets out of here because they're just too cute. And they're just was too big for my other stuff. Yep, there's Jake. <laughs> and then I did the two per size. And this is five by five. So I don't know. We might can trim. I don't know, but they were just cute. Or that could even be, I mean, perfect on the front cover. Oh, that I just, I fell. Oops. Hello, y'all. Sorry. And then she's out there with her little leaves she's been collecting with her little leaf background. That's the unfit to size. That's the regular. <laughs> so, you know, as you can tell, it chopped off her head, but it's still cute. But obviously, if you want to get the artist full vision, you have to print it to size that they have, which they want. And then there's, you know, she's sitting here with her little autumn pumpkin and leaves and that's the regular size oops I got these backwards well they're, these are all backwards so anyway this is the unsize <laughs> the so it'll fit eight and a half by eleven and then this is the um, regular size that the that the kit comes in and these are the umbrellas I mean these are just cute you can use them for anything uh, Put a little rubber ducky in some water. No, <laughs> anyway, and this is the regular. I guess this is technically unfit to size, and this one is fit to size because you want it to fit the page. But I wish people could design on eight and a half by eleven. Anyway, and then there's this one, the rain boot, even though it kind of looks like a riding boot. <laughs> That's that one. <clears throat> and then this one's got, you know, the rain boots or cowboy boots in the umbrella. Yep. And then these leaves, they're pretty. I like those colors. And that's the regular size. This is the fit size. Those are really pretty. And then that one. Oh, and this next one's really pretty too. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that pretty for fall? Actually, is it this way? Yeah, that way. Any way you want them. And then that one. Oh, and then I made the little boots smaller because, you know, I got to do something else with those boots. <clears throat> Can't use anything how they intended it to do, you know. Let me just put that in there so it doesn't get bent or it does not get lost. All right, let me see how am I going. This might be a double. 20, okay. All right. So now we have Janie B. Journals. This is her autumn leaves. So. 
Yeah, these are, like I said, this is how I, I print my little thumbnails so I know what's in my notebook. Look at those bushels of apples. And then she's got a lantern with some um, bows and stuff in there. And then some little gourds, little mini pumpkins in there. And her little birdies. And mushrooms. Leaves. I know, y'all know what they are, but I gotta say something. And then just her kind of variegated, muted background papers. And this is pretty with the different blues and browns and green and all those mushrooms and acorns. Oh, see, we have all those mushroom washi tapes, um, stickers. <laughs> there you go. Make journal cards now. Oh. And then that one with those pretty leaves and branches. And look at this. Oh, I love pumpkins. I love orange. I love autumn. I love most everything. Anyway, her little acorns and her little birdies and her leaves. And then this, her little ombre. Um, she's got like some flowers on the back. And then some more um, brown and yellow. Orange and like kind of if you were to start with the lighter color and start mixing it with your paintbrush, how you get all these different colors. Look at this envelope. Oh. And this little round bird. And these little, I don't know what the heck those are. Is that ginkgo? I know these are mushrooms, but that actually has green stems on those. And then look at these, her journal cards and stuff in here. Oh. These colors are so pretty. And then look at this one. Oh my gosh. I love all those colors. Like the little wildflowers out there in autumn wildflowers. And then some more of her tags. And then her little ATC cards. And then this one. Such vibrant colors. I think this is the one that she showed on her um, YouTube page for the front of the kit. But so pretty. I love those colors. And then these tags. And then these are just a background with some words about autumn leaves of red and gold, falling leaves drift by the window, just little sayings. And then like a collage page that she's done. Some more little autumn leaves and autumn words. Look at that. How cute. And just enough hint of blues in there too. Oh. This is the same thing, it just doesn't have words on the background. You know, actually, this reminds me of a fish aquarium. So we need some little fishies in here. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, Janie. But that's what it reminded me of. <clears throat> the aquarium. All right, so that's her autumn leaves. And then... Just to show you, these are some of her Mystery 5 that these colors, if you have her Mystery 5 bundle, these pages will go great with her, with these other kits. As far as, you know, being able to make, have them for your tag bases and, you know, put your things on. This is Mystery 5 also. This is Mystery 5 where I put two per page. I think that's the four by sixes. And then this one, same thing, Mystery 5. Oh, this is, I printed two because I'm doing something else with that. So, all right. And then this is Janie B. Journals. This is her Mystery Pack 1, the first one. And then this muted stuff on the back is from the um, Avart ATA at, at Art Digital the Hello Autumn. Oh no, I lied. Oh gosh. Well, somebody, somebody that has that muted yellow and I think it was the first one fall. I'll, I'll make sure. But, you know, just use two different digitals. You know, when you run the first one through, I always let them, you know, dry for a little bit because I just don't like the wet stuff going into my machine. And then I run it back through with another one. And you just 
make your own little papers if you know with with stuff that you have okay and this is the last one for today <clears throat> this is the orange mood by digital hobby helper I've had this for a while but this is where I did the blue one the blue Moroccan but yeah I think this would be pretty on light coffee dye paper but, oh, look at that mix of leaves that's pretty and then these are like itty bitty daisies kind of on there kind of like makes you go woo some fleur de lis and this almost looks like stitching all on there. And these are just, I don't know, I'd probably make them go this way. <laughs> just because they don't look right that way, they look better this way. Oh, and I love, this was one of my favorites on here, this branch and the berries. Well, I've got my papers all cockeyed, good gosh. And then this one's pretty, but like I said, I really think this would be these papers would be pretty on the coffee dye paper. And then that that's a little bright. But it's, it's still pretty. Oh, that one. That's a pretty pretty neutral you can write on the back of that one. And that. And those little flowers. And then these. Okay, guys. Well, there you go. Ah, uh, hey, uh, window shopped you some more so oops hold on I'm trying to get my my things together so yeah you know, I don't want to get all mixed up uh, all right well there you go that's some sneak peeks of the papers that I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be using in the upcoming journals that we're gonna be doing I know I still have my other ones I'm working on but this, these are these are what we're doing. See, doesn't that just say fall and Halloween with all that? Okay, all right, guys. So there we go. I'm gonna leave you with this. All these, all these lovelies. And let me take a picture for that one. All right. So thanks for sharing some of your day with me. Thanks for sharing your time with me. And I hope you enjoyed seeing some of these. And um, look forward to them in some upcoming stuff. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So have a great rest of your day have a great blessed rest of your day and thank you for everything lots of kisses lots of love and i will see y'all tomorrow bye guys